Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's start with RAG, as it's likely the more familiar concept. When a query, too, comes in, it's often combined with a system prompt. This combined input is then fed into an embedding model, 4. The embedding model transforms the query into a vector representation, which is then used to search a vector database, 5. This vector database contains pre-computed vector embeddings of the information in our knowledge source. The most relevant chunks of information, the context, are retrieved from the vector database and combined with the original query before being fed into a large language model, 6. Finally, the LLM generates a response, 7, based on this retrieved context. Notice that the embedding generation and retrieval happen during inference, meaning every time a query comes in. Now, let's look at CAG, or Cache Augmented Generation. The key difference here lies in an offline preloading, 2, step. Instead of embedding and retrieving on every query, CAG preprocesses and stores relevant information in a context cache, 3, before inference. When a query, 4, arrives during inference, marked in yellow as active during inference, it's combined with a system prompt and directly fed into a large language model, 5. This LLM then consults the context cache to augment its understanding and generate a response, 6. The crucial point is that the retrieval of relevant context happens much faster because it's already readily available in the cache. The offline preloading step is where CAG aims to gain efficiency. By anticipating potential information needs and storing them in the fast access context cache, CAG can potentially bypass the more computationally intensive embedding and vector search steps during the live query. So, why might CAG be the future of RAG, or at least a valuable alternative? Cost effectiveness. By preloading and caching relevant context, CAG can significantly reduce the computational cost associated with real-time embedding generation and vector database lookups during inference. Speed, accessing information from a cache is generally much faster than performing a vector search, potentially leading to quicker response times. Scalability, for scenarios with recurring information needs or predictable query patterns, CAG could offer a more scalable solution by reducing the load on the embedding model and vector database during peak usage. Acknowledge potential limitations of CAG. However, it's important to note that CAG might have its own limitations. Effectively preloading and maintaining a relevant context cache requires careful planning and understanding of the expected queries and knowledge needs. If the queries are highly diverse and unpredictable, keeping the cache up-to-date and relevant could be challenging. In essence, RAG performs retrieval in real-time for each query, while CAG aims for efficiency by pre-computing and caching relevant context offline for faster access during inference. The question of whether CAG is the future of RAG likely depends on the specific use cases. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.